Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and this is episode 4 of my Automate Everything series for Modern Minecraft 1.16. In today's episode, I will be showing how to make a simple ME system from the mod Applied Energistics 2 that will be able to autocraft simple items. So let's get started. So the first thing is that we will need the mod Applied Energistics 2 and a mod to provide energy. Um, for today, I'm going to be using the mechanism energy and the ME system should be able to use forge energy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into my energy system right here. And to give an ME system energy, you need to either attach an energy cable to an energy acceptor or an ME controller. So for today, I'm just going to build a really simple ME system. So we're going to use the energy acceptor and that should be able to accept energy into the system. And now we're gonna drop an ME chest on top of that. So uh, in the ME chest, we need to put an ME storage cell. And I should mention that you can either use an ME chest here or an ME drive, it should not matter. Uh, and then uh, the ME chest itself actually has an, an interface up here. Uh, we're not actually going to be using that because to actually get uh, automation going, we're going to need the pattern terminal here. So let me see, I'm not, I didn't actually know if I could uh, put that there or not because I never use ME chests. So what we need right now is the pattern terminal and we need blank patterns. So let's put the blank patterns in this slot right here and we're going to uh, tell the system to make, or we're gonna teach it, I should say, how to make a couple of recipes. The first one is going to be a bundle of 16 sticks. I'm just gonna use this recipe right here. And then the second recipe is actually going to be, um, and let's actually put two of those in there. That way we, we can grab some sticks out. Uh, this does work as a crafting table as well. So, uh, but we're not gonna focus on that today. We're going to focus on the auto crafting portion. So let's go ahead and tell it how to make torches as well. So this is going to be some of our simple crafting today. So what we need uh, to actually be able to make these things are um, ME interfaces and molecular assemblers. So let's go ahead and hook those up now. So to do this, uh, each ME interface needs to be touching at least one molecular assembler and that's not actually how I wanna do this. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to put a molecular assembler uh, here and then we're going to do one more down here as well. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Whoops. Let's try that again. And then we'll put one right here. So to, uh, these molecular assemblers, you can actually give them patterns, um, but that's not what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be using them in conjunction with ME interfaces. So let's go ahead and slap these on beside the molecular assemblers and we're, uh, they just need to be adjacent to a molecular assembler and, and you could even put one right here, but for right now I'm not going to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put uh, one pattern in this ME interface and each ME interface can hold nine patterns. So let's go ahead and throw those in right there. Uh, but we can't do this yet because we don't have uh, we don't have the stuff in there first. So let's actually throw the stuff in there. Uh, let's try to tell it to make some torches. And it says no crafting CPUs have, are available. So what we need are these crafting storage blocks. And let's go ahead and put down the simplest one. This is the smallest one you can make. It is the 1K crafting storage. Now these are actually multi-block structures. So I could go ahead and slap this down and it would add to it. So this would have a total of 65K worth of storage, item storage that is. Um, so now I should be able to craft this. So if I tell it to make 10 torches, it will be able to do so. And it actually is able to do so very quickly. Um, quicker than you could actually see, see what was going on there. So let's go ahead and tell it to make a bunch of torches. Um, and I'm not sure how many, let's do 200. And then I'm going to watch the crafting as it goes. So as you can kind of see, it's doing one thing at a time. Uh, there at the very beginning, it was blinking sticks and then blinking torches. Um, and now it's just blinking torches because it's done with the sticks, but it can only do one thing at a time if you only have one crafting storage. However, it, actually even if you have more crafting storage, it can only do one thing at a time. But 
if you add these crafting coprocessors, that allows the system to actually be able to do more at a single time. So let's go ahead and add these on. And once again, this is a multi-block structure. So let's just go ahead and add these on. I'm not sure if there is a limit to how long they can be, but they do need to be um, ordinary shapes. Like if I were to add this right here, that is an invalid shape. So let's go ahead and throw this down. And now let's tell this system to make some more torches. Um, and it actually looks like I'm gonna need more charcoal, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and tell it to make 100 more torches. I can't do that. So let's actually grab some more coal from my system. Whoops. Uh, because what I wanna do next is I want to make a bunch of torches and I wanna show off how to make your system be able to do that quicker. So let's grab some coal, let's grab some wood and then move back over to the system right here. And let's throw all the coal in, let's throw in these oak wood, uh, the uh, oak logs and now let's tell it to make more torches let's say 200 that should be good so if we come over here and that actually went too fast um, what happened at the very beginning is it would have been making torches and the uh, sticks at the same time because it is able to do that now that we have a bunch of co-processors co-processors so one more thing you can do is you can actually add molecular assemblers more molecular assemblers than one to an ME interface so if we do this basically it will speed up the crafting process even further so long that you have enough co crafting co-processors to take advantage of that so what I like to do is I like to do a system kind of like this except I actually tip typically have uh, I actually typically have the uh, ME interfaces right here and I have uh, I have a system of four and I'll, I'll go ahead and show this um, I actually have a system of four ME interfaces with five molecular assemblers except everything is kind of reversed where I have the cobblestone and the ME interface, I would typically have molecular assemblers. And then where I have the molecular assemblers in this configuration, I would typically have the ME interfaces. So basically any ME interface uh, has access to three of the molecular assemblers and it helps to make the crafting go quicker, uh, especially when I'm doing large tasks. So let's go ahead and tell this to do a rather large task. We do have a bunch of stuff here. So let's go ahead and tell it to make a thousand torches if it can do that. And let's take a look. It's making things rather rapidly. If we take a look at the torches, we can see them blinking. Um, and there's one last thing we can do to speed this up even further. And that would be to add acceleration cards. Uh, as you can see, this is making uh, torches a lot faster than this one. Now that it has the acceleration cards in it. So... Uh, in today's episode, I showed you how to set up a simple ME system that is capable of simple autom simple automatic crafting in uh, using the mod Applied Energistics 2. I really like the ME systems. They are super, super useful, and I have a rather large one in the basement of my building right here, and it does a lot for me. It's able to auto-craft a lot of stuff, um, and I think in the next episode, I'm going to do some uh, more in-depth crafting, such as crafting with machines from other mods. So if you feel like you learned something today, uh, feel free to drop a like down below. And if you like watching automation type stuff in modern Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 8 and I will see you next time.